Chris is with us in Chicago. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you because of the baby steps we've gotten out of debt and our home to my wife and kids. You've become Uncle Dave. So thank you. <laughs> well, I'm honored. Thank you. I'm the crazy uh, question, uncle. Yeah, <laughs> Uncle Dave. <laughs> That's what we call you. Um, but uh, my question is, uh, we are newly into Baby Step 4, um, and we should be investing 15%. But my wife will be stepping away from work to go to school full-time. Mm-hmm. So only on we'll be only on my main income plus my side hustles. Mm-hmm. And we are wondering if we should forego 15% and just do minimum 403B match, provided at my job, or should we still push our investments to 15%? Why would you do that? Uh, why would I forego, or why yeah, would I? Why would you stop? Um, my wife is saying because uh, we're on the one income, um, we it'd be kind of tight on the budget. Um, that's kind of the reason I I'm leaning towards the fifteen percent and just keep living, you know, below our means like we have been. Um, not like crazy like we were, but how are you paying for her college? Uh, I work for a university, so she goes full. Uh, free. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. What's she studying? She's going back to be a teacher. Okay. And how long will it take her? Uh, we're thinking roughly about two years. Good. Good. Okay. And how much do you make, Chris? Uh, with side hustles, about 100 okay. okay. How many kids you got? Four. What did she make before? Uh, she made around 55 Okay. So you took a... One third of your income is gone. You took a thirty-five percent, thirty-three percent cut in your income, roughly, and um, and you're going to have a tight two years in order to achieve a bigger goal, which is her goal of being a teacher. And Correct. There's, there's a sacrifice to get to that goal. So I think you can make fifteen percent, and I don't hear a reason to not do it. I agree with her that it is going to be tighter, but that's one of the sacrifices you're making for her to go to school is giving up her income, and then she'll get her income back when she graduates, and maybe then some, maybe some on top of that, uh, depending on what she's teaching, where, that kind of thing. But um, I, I don't see a reason to stop it. Yeah, just to keep going. I mean, I mean, it's what we teach, Chris. Now, for two years, if you guys pulled back and just did the minimum, I mean, you sound young. I didn't ask your age, but is it going to make or break you? No, but you miss out on that growth when you guys still can be putting that 15%. So there's really not, I mean, there's not a reason not to. So I would, I, I think, would I think it's it. the tightness is part of the decision you made when you made the decision for her to quit and go to school. And you, we made the decision for things to be tight for two years. And um, that's not unreasonable. You can do that. I mean, um, and so uh, it's not like you're not going to have food on the table or something else. So, no, I think you need to stick with it. That's what I would do if I were in your shoes.